Welcome back to Man on Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Should we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today in what is a little bit of a later episode than usual, as you know, I did mention in the previous episode. I do uh, have Jury Duty and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go into it because there's stuff I can't talk about, uh, especially stuff regarding the trials and that sort of thing. And plus, all the other information is kind of like. You, the other people have made videos on what Jury like. My, my experience is basically the same as all, <laughs> or all of theirs. That's what I'm saying. I don't even have any interesting stories. Well, I, you know, that, that, I say that, but um, we'll get into it, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, there, everyone. Right now, in Fawn Hollow, 6:05 p.m. on Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. I have a uh, Sahara visiting, so um, we'll probably pay him no mind. I know there was a slight mix-up of, of a timing of when I was I was meant to arrive, have a thing which resulted in me having to wait from about 9 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. Um, at which okay, at which point I was like. <laughs> It's like, I can't really go home, I suppose, at this point. I mean, I suppose I could, but it's a, it's a bit much because it takes like an hour to even get there in the first place. So, you know, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? So I walked instead to the local, um, well, not local, it was like 20 minute walk away. Um, but, you know, kind of local, I suppose. Um, I also got a shopping centre and I just sat in a food court for a huge amount of time. Um, I, I sat in a food court and, until, you know, roughly about like an hour and a bit before and then I walked to McDonald's and then I had my meal there and I sat there for another um, hour or so just to sort of have a, a bit of a change of scenery I suppose. Um, it was rather um, uninteresting on the whole but I, I think I was thinking as I sat down because you know obviously I sat down in a food court because um, this shopping centre is a bit weird it's actually like two shopping centres like right next to each other and I went to this one because I, I knew this one had seating because the other one didn't really have seating and I was originally I was going to go watch a movie but the thing is all the movies were on really awkward times um because I was at like 10 or something and the next movie which I wanted to watch was on at and, and was the shortest one which I could watch was Encanto uh, which was on at 10 30 and I was like okay you know I actually want to you know see this movie at some point I do like Disney love animation that sort of thing and then you know and I did the maths in my head 10 30 about 30 minutes of adverts before time means it's 11 I need to <laughs> uh, be where I need to be at one one o'clock um so and the movie is going to end at 12 50 <laughs> which gives me 10 minutes to uh, sprint a 20 minute <laughs> Um, 25 minute distance I suppose um, to where I need to be and I was like hmm not doable and I looked at all the other movies and the other movies are like two hours and a half or something along you know like the new Spider-Man and the Matrix which to be honest I probably wouldn't have watched anyway but um, I just insanely long oh, I mean, let's go over to half Island now uh, which is like an insanely long time away so um, I couldn't watch a movie which is a shame like the only movie I could have fit in at the time would have been Clifford and the big red dogs like adventure or whatever it's whatever it's called because that was um on very recently uh very quickly and was um quite short and i was like nah <laughs> i'm just gonna go sit in a food court i suppose and play some games on my phone or something or, or read a book or so so uh, i went over to the other shopping mall and i sat down in food court it, honestly um two, two things i thought about um the first one is a kind of short thought i was like because i wasn't actually purchasing any food or something i'm, I'm, I'm you know but for a split second i was like Oh, what if one of like the food clerks kicked me out or something because I'm sitting down here and I'm not actually eating any of their food or anything? And then I sat down and I was like, oh, who cares? <laughs> and it's like, there's, there's about, I will say it was very like, it was quite early in the morning, so of course it was quite empty. So it was like 80 other seats or whatever, you know? If, if they want to kick me out, being like, oh, you know, you're taking up valuable seating that other people who are actually paying customers could sit down and fair enough, you know, if there's um, a limited amount of seating. But seeing as there was like 50 other seats or something all around the place, I don't think I really cared. And you know, <laughs> I got in fact very quickly into my mind. My mind very quickly went from oh no to ah, who cares? <laughs> and if they tell me to leave, and I just leave and just go somewhere else and said, who really cares? And that's the point. I mean, I've had a bit of like a self reflection for it because I mean, what else am I going to do for about four hours? Um, and I was like, man, you know, if, if this was me back in high school or something, I bet I would be absolutely freaking out about this. And the entire time I would not be able to sit comfortably because I would just be like, oh no, you want one of the, 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 the shop, not the, the shops, the, 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 the mall staff or something is going to kick me out because I'm, you know, trying to take one of their seating for free or something. Because that's a thing which happened back in our, in our secondary school. We, you weren't allowed to sit inside if you were not one of the people who bought food from like the, the mini bar thing that they had so I was in secondary school I suppose I'd sort of like you know my, my um, very intentional system of following rules exactly to the tea rather than by intention um, kind of you know if, if I was younger I'd be like oh man this is really like nerve-wracking and me now I was just like yeah whatever 
I mean, if they can kick me out if I want, and then I'm just gonna be slightly miffed by the entire thing because I'm like, it's a bit pointless. <laughs> like, why would you kick me out? Okay, and like, I'm not a paying customer. Fair enough. Um, and, but you know, that doesn't really make a difference. Like, if I was here or if I wasn't here, I suppose, and not being a paying customer, like, what if I'm ruining receipts? Like, okay, that's a little bit presumptuous, I suppose. <laughs> and and the only option which I'm, the only reason I think particularly makes much sense is um, the fact if I'm taking up space, which a paying customer would take up, but. There's like no one there. <laughs> also, because this pandemic, you know, still sort of going on. Um, oh, let, let's get um, uh, a curse, um, a disaster averted. Um, yeah, so, so I just sort of chilled there, um, played a bit of Genshin Impact on my phone, played some um, mobile games. Luckily for me, I had tons of mobile games on my phone, so I played that for a bit. And I started reading a book. Um, I'm reading uh, the Animator's Survival Guide or Survival Kit. I forget. I forget who it's written by. Hold on. It's a very famous book, if, if you know anything about animation or what, even slightly interested in animation, you will absolutely know um, this book. It's not Animator Survivors Kit by Richard Williams, and it was a book I started reading actually back in university, but I never got to finishing it, so I was like, you know, jury duty is a lot of waiting around, it's perfect time to just like read a book or whatever, so you know, I, I read a decent amount of that, and you know, like sort of refresh the memories, um, and honestly, it I actually have sort of like a, a better perspective I feel like on the sort of things I'm reading now because I'm actually you know drawing much more consistently around now compared to in the back of those days when I was reading it before like I even started drawing I suppose um so I actually understand it now like because before when I read it I would just be like oh you know uh, and then I understand you know it's like, oh real life drawing you know, like, I don't really want to do that I want to draw cartoons even though he says it's important now I'm just like oh yeah you know real life drawing was very important and I should probably actually start doing it at some point um but I was reading out, but the other thing, for, uh, and I play some games, the other thought I had when I was sitting at food court was like, man, food courts are kind of depressing. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's so empty. Like, I understand the appeal of it, you know, can you imagine, like, going, like, it's unfortunately never happened to me, not because I didn't have, like, friends, but more because we didn't have, like, in, in this sort of environment. Um, we, we didn't really, I didn't go to school, I suppose, in, like, the big city where there was, like, shopping mall or anything nearby. But can you imagine, like, sort of, like, going off to school, like, in the McDonald's or something, you know, going through uh, a shopping centre or something with friends and just like chilling in a food court just after school, like as you, well, I don't know, waste time way as high school kids do or whatever. Sounds nostalgically fun, but you know, actually sitting in the food court is actually kind of, it's kind of like emptily depressing, you know? And you know, it's just like around like half the stores, by the way, weren't even open in the first place because, you know, obviously pandemic situation. Like there, there was a KFC there and but there's a reason about fast food. There's like a Pizza Hut, a Burger King, and the KFC. And I was like, okay, if I don't want to get McDonald's, then I can get one of these. Oh, there was a Subway as well. And um, I considered actually getting a Subway for lunch. But then I was like, oh, there's so many. There's actually a surprising amount of people in Subway, and I don't really care. <laughs> Thanks. And I don't go to Subway very often. And I don't really understand how Subway works pricing wise. <laughs> Uh, I don't really get how to order, so I'm just, I sort of walk up being like, uh, I want this bread, <laughs> and I want this meat in, and just give me a load round of vegetables. I don't know what that, I don't know how that costs, I don't know what the pricing is, I don't know anything about Subway meal deals or anything. So I did consider it, but then I just said, nah. Because <laughs> what I wanted, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some KFC or something, because you know, with KFC right there. I don't often get fast food, mind you, because I'm... Um, I'm not, not really that much of a fast food person, um, but I was like, yeah, I like KFC, I like fried chicken. I was like, if not, maybe I can go to pizza or something, maybe pick up like a personal pizza. And I remember I was open. <laughs> and I thought it was because I was too early because um, that shopping centre only opened at like 10 or something. And I was there basically at like 10, 10. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe they open at like close to lunchtime. They just never opened. Which is fair enough. It's like, it's not really like a requirement for them to open or anything like that. It's, it's kind of fair if they, if they don't particularly want if it, not even if they don't particularly want to, but not if it's not even feasible for them right now. Um, it, was, it was kind of a shame, and I always wanted to get pizza. Um, so I, I, I went back to the other shopping mall and had McDonald's instead. Because um, I was like, you know, I haven't had McDonald's for a while, I'll get something. And, you know, <laughs> I, it, it was actually kind of tragic because I got to McDonald's, I looked at the stuff and I was like, oh, I don't want any of this. <laughs> I was like, maybe I want some chicken selects. So I looked at the chicken selects and I was like, no, I don't really. I was like, maybe I want, you know, um, like whatever they have, they have like these limited time like um I thought we got seasonal burgers or whatever with like cranberry sauce and I can't remember I think it had turkey in it or something I don't remember it was like a fried chicken version and um it was like cheese cranberry sauce and then some other things it was obviously meant to be like a uh, a roast Christmas dinner or something and I looked at it and I was like oh maybe I could give that a drive and I thought about it and I was like oh, I don't really want a burger right now and then I got two burgers anyway because I'm I got two mayo chicken um uh, mayo bacon chickens because they're cheap you know if I like £1.30 or something which is not to steal I'll be perfectly honest and I got some large fries 
And I was like, okay, and then need to sort of like stretch out this meal to last like one hour <laughs> or something. Um, which it did actually, but the burgers, you know, the burgers don't actually taste all that bad, I think, colder. And the chips definitely don't taste great cold, is what I say. <laughs> but it was fine. There's also something really weird, like the, the last chip I had in, in thing, like, it felt like it really like messed up my throat somehow. And I don't understand how. <laughs> It, it suddenly felt like, um, it was like a concentrated amount of salt, saltiness which like dried up my throat immediately, so I had to have some water. Um, no, that's not a very exciting story because I luckily I brought my, brought some water along with me and then I, you know, I, I just drank it, that's about it. <laughs> which, saying that, let's take a sip of water right now. Delicious. Um... Yeah, so really, it turns out I probably should have gone to Subway, but you know, because the Subway was in the other shopping centre and I went, went to this one because this one was closer to the location I needed to actually go to. Um, and I wasn't particularly sure, if, I already I already came in here, I wasn't particularly sure if I was meant to, if <laughs> if a McDonald's employee would be particularly happy with me sort of lounging about there. Because um, McDonald's was actually kind of busy, I'll be perfectly honest, especially around lunchtime, it got way busy. Um, and so I just sort of like, a vibe there, read a book and then, you know, I, I went off. Um, to begin my jury duty, I suppose. You know, maybe at some point I'll talk about it. Not really going to. <laughs> I don't want to get into legal trouble and that sort of thing. It was. If you want to know what jury duty is like, just go search UK jury duty. Other people have made videos and that sort of thing, and that's basically what it is. There's just a lot of waiting, and then um, yeah. I mean, I don't know in the future if I'm gonna go to meals, but you know, if I, if I got time, you know, to actually go over to um. A shopping or centre or something to have some lunch, like maybe I get released early. I might, I might give Subway a shot. It, it's been a long time because the last time I had Subway was in a, a secondary school. Because uh, there was a Subway sh a store not, not too far away from school. I only had it a handful of times because I didn't under really understand Subway and like the appeal of it. I mean, I had it once and I was like, you know what, I can see the appeal of it. But the thing is, I don't know like what goes into a sandwich makes makes it good. So I just sort of put like whatever I want in, and I'm just like, I'm, I don't know, is this good? Like, I, I guess it is. I mean, I'm, I, like, I like eating it, but I like eating a lot of things. So it's sort of just like a mm, very ambiguous situation. If you're wondering what I have in my subway sandwiches, it probably sounds absolutely disgusting to you, which is you know kind of fair enough. Um, I have like, I have the honey, the honey, I can't remember the honey oat. <laughs> is that what it is? The honey oat um, bread, obviously you know a foot long, um, toasted. Um, and then I, for meats, I have chicken and bacon. I can't, I can't remember if I had options or chicken. But preferably not chicken breast, because chicken breast is so dry. I don't know why people like chicken breast so much. I mean, chicken thighs sort or of thing. Chicken thighs, delish. Chicken thighs, top quality part. Anyway, chicken and bacon. Um, I, I just have whatever cheese, because I, I honestly don't know the difference of the cheese they have. Um, you know, I have like two or three. Two types of cheese, maybe three types if I'm feeling saucy. Then I get some lettuce, some cucumber, some onions. Some tomatoes sometimes. Um, I, I can't remember what else they have in the Subway. It's a selection. That, that sounds about right. I honestly can't remember. It's, it's been like years and years since I've had Subway. And then that's what I have. And then, you know, what sauce do I have? I have mayonnaise because that's like the only condiment sauce I particularly am fond of. Which might sound gross to you because, you know, I don't think mayonnaise and bacon is particularly common. But chicken and bacon is pretty... Don't worry, chicken and mayonnaise is pretty common. So chicken, and bacon and mayonnaise are probably not all that uncommon, I would say. Is there, is there anything else you have on the subway sandwich? I honestly can't remember. Anyway, so the point is, you know, I regret, I regret getting McDonald's and wish I could have got a subway instead. Or maybe I should have actually got a chicken sandwich. Or maybe I should have tried a new sandwich. Or maybe I shouldn't have waited, like, ate the chips over the course of one hour. Because <laughs> um, they, they didn't taste that great at the end, I suppose. Or maybe, you know, perhaps my tastes are changing and, you know, fast food just ain't all that. But I don't know, because I also feel like food courts are sort of something that me is like um not a, <laughs> I mean not calling me a city dweller sounds a bit strange I suppose but no, not living in an area where with access to like a food court or a shopping centre you know being able to like you see in your animes they go to like a family restaurant they get like a, a tray of food and they just like hang out eat some chips or something after school you, you know me I, I latch onto that sort of like a nostalgic sort of a feeling that Sondra-esque feeling nostalgia, nostalgia even for things which I never experienced I suppose and it's like oh that seems like a fun time um I don't, I don't know, do we want to go to Abel's Sisters? Not particularly. And then I just sat there and I was like, this is like... I mean, I'm sure part of it 
made it seem depressing it was due to the fact that you know i had to actually just like wait there for like four hours which is not particularly exciting in its own right um but it's also just sort of like um you know i don't know what i expected i'm perfectly honest i don't know if we can cook any food right now but we have that as an option i don't know if we have a like a coconut food we can make perhaps does not appear so what do we need for all of these what other stuff like requires so much stuff what, what's like we have a simple thing we can make sugar cane okay we've not made that yet oh my god at some, at some point we actually got to make all these food items we, we actually have like none oh these pretzels are so cute first the pretzels to flour and sugar um i guess let's go grab some sugar cane so we can actually get those this mission done um i'll look at what other missions we've got because i can't remember oh that's why i went to the beach 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 let's go get away what insect is that bagworm that's a bit of a nuisance one i'll be perfectly honest um like i don't, I don't know I'm, I'm trying to think of like notable things in like video games or like, any media property i suppose but i'm just like oh you know going to a food court and just sort of vibing out with friends seems like a fun time i can't actually think of them um so maybe it's sort of just like all in my head no that's a lie actually i thought one um not not life is strange hold on hold on what's that game called night in the woods in Night in the Woods, there's a scene where you're with B, I believe, as May, and you go to like the mall. I think you go to the mall quite a few times, and I don't know if you actually go with Greg. Confessions never actually finished Greg's, no, or never actually started Greg's story, and I always intended to at some point, but just never really got around to it. Um, we're going to try and actually make a snowman, I suppose, at this point, um, because it's been a while. We're, like we, oh, we haven't actually given it a shot, I suppose, for a bit. Um, I guess we'll make one sort of here. This seems like a good out of way sort of space. Um, yeah, and you, you, you go to the shopping mall, I suppose, with um, B, and you, you have a nice time sort of chatting. I can't remember what you do. You, you sort of do like, um, you end up parkouring to the top of the scaffolding or something, and then <laughs> I can't remember what you do then. Anyway, you have a, like a fun time in the food court. I, I can't remember, maybe you buy some like chips or something, and from fast food place. Maybe I just don't like fast food anymore. I don't, I don't really know. I'm of two minds about it. This seems pretty good. Let's do this. What? Okay. May maybe they have to be a, s a little bit bigger? I honestly don't know what the minimum sizes are for these snowballs. Ooh. Maybe did that. That would have been a bad idea. That seems okay. Maybe a bit too small ahead. Oh no, you're a perfect snowboy. But it, it seems like we didn't fix the text bug where he randomly says it in the middle of a... He randomly says it in the middle of a speech bubble. I like these mini ones. Wait. Wait, did, did, did he give us a new recipe? A frozen mini what? What, 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 what? Are you telling me this entire time there's been new recipes? And I've just not been making with snowmen? <laughs> there's actually new... I need, I need to... I need to go over the Nook site or whatever it is. Nook. Nook Plus. I need to see what new recipes are. What the heck? I have no idea if there are new recipes. Um, items. Fields of Can we like. La latest update, here we go. 10 of 713 in the latest update. How can we, can we filter this season? Winter, apply. Zero, okay. Um, clear what oh, oh is it loading or maybe it's loading fiends freezing cold I, I, just, I just try to find animal crossing new snowman oh new snowboy recipes how many are there oh these one we missed from last year I, I can't imagine we missed any from last year we made so many Frozen bed, frozen pillar, frozen tree, ice flooring, ice wall, ice wand, snow person head, free tit. Yeah, we, we got all of these. What are the new ones? I want the new one. Brand new winter recipes arrive. Catch snowflakes, build snowboys. New. No experience in winters, don't worry, there's new fun. Free new brand DIY. Okay, so we need to make free snowmen. Frozen fence, frozen floor tiles. Oh, that's by shooting stuff. A mini snow. I bet this is the only one. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. 
So it turns out that, that's literally the only new recipe uh, from Snow People. We'll have a look to see what's... Isn't there a seasonal? Yeah, seasonal recipe. Do we have a fencing one? It seems, it seems like we didn't get a fencing one. Or we have a flooring one. Weird. Oh, probably because the ornament ones took priority because we missed out on so many ornament ones last year. There's, there's meant to be a frozen tile one or something as well. Alright, I guess we just gotta keep more than a lookout for um, floating pheasants. How do you do? How do you come up with all your confounding flapdoodle anyway? I do have a way with words, huh? Well, all my content is pure, original, Raymond Arrivederci. You're misunderstanding me. I mean, all those high falutin horse feathers you sprinkle all over everyone. Why do you even come up with stuff like saving the tangy taste of our local apples? Don't you agree the mouthfeel of the apples on this island is to die for? Why is no one talking about the mouthfeel? Yeah, mouthfeel. Now you're gonna ruin the apples for everyone in earshot. <laughs> That's such a new dialogue. I don't think we've seen that before. Probably because we haven't had, we didn't have a smug villager for a very long time, didn't we? Um, okay, fossils, fossils, deep sea creatures, and seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Um, <laughs> what was I going with? I don't know. I don't know if I was going anywhere with any of this, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and I certainly dig up these fossils at the very least, because that is a mission, and it's a double mission. Um, I don't know. You, you would have... I mean, it's not like... I was going to say you would have thought food courts would be more exciting. Actually, no, no you wouldn't. And I think most people are kind of in right mind that food courts are kind of very uneventful, but I, I don't, it feels like... It's, it's more than just, like, nothing. It's more... It's, like, negative sort of, like, the feelings you get from it. It's like a weird sort of... I'm not even sure if it's, like, the eeriness necessarily, or it's the fact it's so empty, I suppose, when really that shopping centre used to be so full of life. In fact, when probably none of the employees particularly want to be there, which is, like, kind of fair enough. You know, customers are real pain to deal with, I'll be honest. I am, I suppose... Well, I like to think I'm not a problem customer, but... You know, I suppose that's not really up for me to judge her. Huh? <laughs> um, I don't know. But there was this one, like, woman who was just, like, cleaning all the, the tables, which, fair enough, you know, pandemic situation, you, you got to clean the tables and that sort of thing. And I just felt like it was, like, you know, there was, like, five people there. She, she cleaned, like, she had, like, one table to clean about every 20 minutes. <laughs> must have, she must have been bored out of her mind. Or maybe she was, like, sort of living that life, you know. I could certainly, to a certain degree, depending on what... I'm, I felt like a day. Radish a days where I had enough, like, basically nothing to do. And if, if all I had to do that day was, like, clean one table every 20 minutes, I'd be, like, sick. Instead of, like, having a lunch rush or whatever where I had to clean, like, <laughs> ten and half a minute. And certainly, you know, you, you'd probably take one over the other, depending on the type of person you are. Not if it's necessarily a, a, a right or wrong answer, I think, to that sort of thing. Um, oh, we didn't craft any sugar. I've got... Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love. <laughs> is that how the song goes? I don't know. But yeah, now I'm no, no, sort of just chilling at home. I'm gonna, I suppose, play some games afterwards. And I, I don't really know. There's only so much you can say. Apparently, you can actually talk about. <laughs> I didn't know this. Like, um, I just checked on the UK website. You can actually talk about the trial, weirdly enough. Like, um, and the stuff that you learn about in the trial. After the trial has concluded, which is bizarre to me. You would have thought you'd never be able to like, you, you shouldn't be allowed to talk to it, like, about it at any point. So, mm, I'm obviously not going to talk about it. <laughs> but, there you go. I suppose it's a, a, another experience, I suppose, I'm having. Um, I don't know how long it'll go on for. That was a horrible noise I just made out of my mouth. Mouth noise. Along the same veins of mouth yellow, I suppose, by Raymond. <laughs> Malfield by Raymond makes it sound like a design, design brand. Malfield by Raymond. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't really got much to say about it, to be perfectly honest. I more to say about the food court than anything else. <laughs> I don't know. The food court is just real depressing. Depressing, like there's some girls who sat behind me and were like gossiping about something. I wasn't really paying attention to the conversation because I don't care. Um. <laughs> I'm not here to hear about their drama, but they've got their own going on, and why am I trying to butt into it? That oh, man. Our fish design here, while oh, as cool as it is, it's very annoying to cl clean up all these weeds that we've got. <sighs> why does this happen? Actually, it was not that bad. Um, 
Yeah, but to be, to be fair, maybe the, the, the food court there is always like that because it's not like I particularly went to that food court all that often. Normally, whenever we, we went to um, that shopping centre to watch, um, to do stuff is because we went to watch movies. So we're always in the other shopping centre and we eat food. And then there's Nando's in that shopping centre, which is a lot more convenient, I suppose, for us. Because when you go out, you want to, you know, a cheeky Nando's is a nice, nice sort of like in between, between having fast food and restaurant food, you know? Sometimes it feels a bit weird to go out and just think, you know, grab a Burger King and grab a McDonald's. But to be fair, some of my friends really like McDonald's. Um, I don't know. Part of me still, part of me like wants to turn back, obviously not turn back time. If, if, I, if I could turn back time, I would use it on much more sensible things than this. I just want to go back and tell myself at lunchtime, hey you, go have a Subway. McDonald's, not worth it. <laughs> not that McDonald's is bad. I do like McDonald's sometimes. It's just, don't, don't take like an hour to eat your food, I suppose, in McDonald's. Even if the food court's kind of sad, you know, at least, like, eating a Subway food in the food court, I suppose, is... <laughs> the food court seat's at least comfier, to a certain degree. And it was a lot less busy in food court, which meant it felt a bit, like, sort of nicer to have time to myself. And I do appreciate having time to myself, but I like to having time to myself on my own terms, and, you know, not in four-hour straights, I suppose. But, you know, hey-ho, here we go. A little too high and a little too low. What can I really do about it, apart from that? A learning experience. All in of itself. I don't think we need the scenic. Why am I selling these? Put these away. Um. Just got to think about it. Keep that. Keep that. Um. Uh, don't tell that. Don't tell that. Actually, don't sell this either. Um. I don't know. We need. I don't think we need to donate this. This painting, right? Scenic painting. Have a look at it, because I honestly can't remember. I, I have a feeling yesterday I was like, nah, shmaka, shmaka, shmaka. Crazy Red selling us another fake painting again. Or perhaps it's a legitimate painting, just one, not one I can particularly use. Um, yeah, I don't know. Any, anything else particularly exciting happened to me? Yeah, this is a fake one. Unfortunately, because it needs two people at the bottom left. I was um, kind of hungry, I suppose. Turns out that McDonald's wasn't very fitting. Two burgers and large chips. Turns out it was not enough. It's a thing I always used to get back in university. I used to get like three of those burgers and a medium fries, I think. I'd, I'd get like three mayo chickens, which cost like three pounds in total, which is absurd. But that's like the price of a Big Mac, I think. Um, to be fair, you don't normally buy a Big Mac on its own. Normally you buy it with a meal and rest, and then it costs like five pounds or something. But um, I'm not really that fond of a Big Mac. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. I much prefer the chicken burgers. Apparently, Mac I can't remember if it's McDonald's or KFC who do a really nice like vegan burger. I, you know what? I should have tried that. <laughs> that that would have at least been like a cool experience, but alas, I did not. And with that, I suppose we'll round off this episode here. It does not appear like ah, oh, we had shooting stars a couple of days ago, didn't we? Oh well. Um, and with that, we'll round off this episode here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Darling. Like, comment, subscription, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling. Discord, follow me, it's down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>